We celebrate the achievements of the hearing impaired today with World Deaf Day. It falls on the last Sunday of September. Our reporter Guan Yang visited a kindergarten in Shenyang to find out what it means to educate children who communicate in a world of silence. This is the world to Duan Hengxin, a four-year-old deaf child living in Shenyang. He and his peers are in a classroom with Miss Li, who attempts to teach them via exaggerated lip actions and other forms of sign language. For people who were born deaf, communication is only visual. Miss Li says many of them will grow up lacking in social skills and as a valued member of society. As technology develops, regaining the sense of hearing via hearing aid becomes easier. The hard job is letting these kids gain confidence and to be accepted and treated just like ordinary people. China has a sizable population of those with hearing disabilities. The China Disabled Persons Federation puts figures at 20 million, or 30 percent of the world's total. Among them, more than 800,000 are children below the age of six. Numbers are increasing at a rate of 20,000 to 30,000 kids per year. There is an obvious gap between a sizable population of the deaf and the existing supply of social facilities assisting deaf children. We do need more NGOs as well as individuals with the financial ability to provide opportunities to these deaf children. Those with the disability have called out for more assistance for their needs to be heard. But the country needs to lend beyond a listening ear for resource support. For the country's 20 million people with hearing disabilities, the social securities like medical care, education and the participation in social activities are still not very comprehensive. Clearly more needs to be done so these people will not suffer in silence. Guangyang, CCTV.